storage heaters are designed to build up energy during off-peak periods, especially overnight when the electricity tariff is lower. They can be a clever way of saving energy, but it's important to get the settings right. Otherwise, you could be wasting power and money. Here's how to make the most of them. Simple things first. Storage heaters have a separate on and off switch on the wall. You should leave it on throughout the cold season. Each storage heater in your home works separately, so you can choose a different heat setting for each room. Most storage heaters have two controls. You'll find them on the top right hand side of the heater, sometimes under a flap. Let's have a look at the input. This controls how much heat you store overnight. The best thing is to adapt this to the temperature outside. In spring, summer and autumn, try different input settings to see how much heat you'll need to store to stay nice and warm through the day. Some rooms may need less than others and there may be moments when you won't be using heating at all. If that's the case, just switch off the whole heater at the wall. In winter, I'd recommend you set the input to max in your main living space. You'll need a lot of stored heat to keep it cosy all day long. When it comes to other rooms, it'll depend on how much you use them. Now let's see the output or boost. This controls how much of the stored heat is released. The moment you turn it up, you are letting more heat out, but that doesn't mean you're using extra electricity just yet. Bring the output down to a minimum before you leave home and bring it up again when you're back. It's the same at night time. While you're all nice and warm in bed, you can keep the output at a minimum and then turn it back up again when you need heat. Some storage heaters are automatic, which makes things easier. You can preset the temperature for each room and let it do the maths. All you need to do when you start using one of these is work out how much you need for your ideal temperature. If you run out of heat before the day ends, that will mean you need to store a bit more. Once you get it right, you can forget about the input control and keep the output setting at a minimum. The heater will give you the temperature you want. And remember that if you need more heat later in the day, you can still turn up the output setting and get a boost. A few final tips on safety. If you have small children or pets, it's a good idea to fit a guard to your storage heater. Make sure curtains don't go near it. And never cover the surfaces of the heater or obstruct the air grills. 